Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I'll show you how to angle a component and then replicate and repeat it. So in the previous video, we made this small section right here, which is part of this high five spinner which has five different parts. And this is the section we did right here. So now I want to repeat this four more times. And there's no perfect way to do it, but let me show you how I do it. So the first thing I do is I do a duplicate of this unit, and then I grab the angle tool and slide to the outside, because then you can do one degree increments. And you just kind of get close. You don't have to get exact, because what you can do is just stop and then just manually change the angle. This is something new in the beta. So now I can just type in 72 degrees, which is what I want, because 5 times 72 is 360 degrees. Now I need these two circles to line up, and this is the hard part. This is the problem with Tinkercad. You have to do this manually. So what you do is you just drag it so you get close. And then what you want to do is zoom in. You have to zoom in and then look at the two circles of the two items. And whether these are squares or circles, you have to line it up. And the easiest way to do it is go to the grid, set it to its highest resolution of 0.1 millimeters, and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to just click this guy until you have them perfectly lined up. You can tell, see the little bit on the bottom and top here? There's a little bit of a gap. You move it until you have a thin line so they're right on top of each other. And then you're ready to replicate it again. So now I zoom out. Keep this guy selected. You don't want to unselect it because this will lose the repeatability. So now I just go up to duplicate and it'll automatically duplicate another. Click it again. There's another. Click it again. And there's the fourth additional one. So now I have my five loops. And if I zoom in here, well, let me group them together. So you normally just group it together, and this is the completed unit. But let me go back, and I really want to show you how this center turned out. Because I took the time to line up that first one, look at this line. It's thin all the way around, even though I've got you know, three other ones after I set that up. That's, that's important, because let me show you if you don't get this thing lined up. If you don't get that first one lined up, I'm just I'm going to offset it just a little bit here. See it just a little bit, the top and the bottom. And then when I duplicate, the next one is off, and the next one is off, and the next one is off. And look at how thick the line is. That may throw you off. It may not matter, but it may throw you off. So it's best to do it right the first time. Now what you can do is, even if I come back, I notice this, and I come back and I want to fix it. So I drop it down so it's a thin line. When I do duplicate, because I already did it once, it's offset. But I can manually adjust the next one with the arrow keys. So I manually adjust that until I get to a thin line. Then I do duplicate. The next one will come up, but it's off as well. So I have to manually adjust this one to get down to that thin line. And then finally I'll do it uh, a duplicate again once I get that set. And that one's off. So... If you don't get it right that first time, you can still fix it, but you've got to adjust each one. And then once you get them all adjusted, the same thing. You can just group them all together, and you end up with your perfect spinner. But this is one of the tips or tricks about Tinkercad. When you're lining something up like that that isn't centered, you have to manually do it and get it right that first time. So there you have it. A little helpful tip or trick to learning Tinkercad. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. Want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.